My name is Hannah Lentz. I am the Program Officer for the International Fund for Animal Welfare's Companion Animal Program. Right now, I'm in Bosnia and Herzegovina helping to assess the needs of animals after the worst floods to hit the region in over 120 years. Across Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia and Croatia, a quarter million households have been affected. In Bosnia and Herzegovina alone, there have been 3,000 landslides and 40,000 people have been displaced. 70% of the flood affected area is suspected to contain landmines and explosives that did not detonate during the war. On Saturday, I traveled with Jennifer Gardner of IFAW's Disaster Response Team and Elzamina Bojic of the United Nations Development Program as we visited the town of Sanskimos and assessed the damage in the region. Sanskimos means bridge over the river Sana, but only two weeks ago it was the Sana River that covered everything. As one of IFAW's humane community development towns, we wanted to make sure the people and animals here were receiving the help they needed. When we arrived, the waters had receded, but evidence of the damage was everywhere. We visited a family that had been able to evacuate their animals to safety, but the water had ruined all of their food supplies. Moisture stains on the walls revealed water had been almost five feet high. Everything was wet. Even the small amount of feed they had tried to salvage grew mold, the heat and moisture destroying it completely. All of the hay was rotten, and food was gone, leaving cows sheep, chickens, and the family dog with nothing to eat. We gave them food for all of their animals, enough to last for a few days until a permanent source of food could be secured. We then visited the local animal rescue group, Friends of Animals, where we met dogs, puppies, and kittens rescued from the floods. We also met Gary, whose leg had been badly broken during the floods. Frightened and in pain, we didn't want to follow Gary with our camera, but we're ensuring he receives the emergency medical care he so desperately needs. We will be ensuring all of these animals have the food they need in the days ahead. After Sanskimos, the day was not nearly over. Everywhere we went was an opportunity to offer assistance. Animals that had survived the floods and subsequent damage would appear, and we'd offer them fresh food and water, though sometimes it seems a pat on the head was really what was wanted most. When stuck in traffic, the team got out of the car and started checking on animals and homes along the side of the road and giving out small portions of food from the back of the van. Even with the flood waters having receded, there are still many challenges ahead for the people and animals here. There is still so much to do.